the best there is at what I do. And what I do isn't very pretty. He's behind me, isn't he? Nuh-uh, bub. I'm way too expensive to be thrown around. Son of a... Okay, people, welcome back to another Foosh review. Today, we're taking a look at the Metacom Mafex. What number is this? Is there a number? Oh, 096 right there. Marvel X-Men comic book style Wolverine. And I've been waiting for this for a while. I love Mafex figures. I love X-Men. I love Wolverine. But unfortunately, I'm walking into this one a little bit biased. I'm already not looking forward to the arms here. But bright side of things, it's it's Wolverine. It's, it's X-Men. It's, no, we'll see. Looking at the package, it's your standard Mafex fair. They've taken the whole package and Wolverineized it. Wolverineized it? Something like that. It's like those older home improvement shows where they send the designer in and they find out the kid likes pirates. And then the kid comes in after it's all said and done and there's pirates freaking everywhere. Wolverine, 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 Wolverine quote, Wolverine, Wolverine, X-Men, Wolverine blue, Wolverine yellow, Wolverine, Wolverine, X-Men, Wolverine, Wolverine, X-Men, Wolverine, Wolverine, Wolverine graphic in the background, Wolverine blue, Wolverine yellow, logo, 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 snicked. Wolverine, X-Men, Wolverine, Wolverine in the background. On the bottom, you get your standard warnings, your unreadables, this hologram that knockoffs cannot knock off. I wonder what Wolverine's daydreaming about in there. Anyway, let's get this open, see what's going on here. There's the Mafex stand taped to the back like usual, and it's okay, clear base, clear rod clear clamp. I usually don't care for the Mafex stands. They just I don't they seem kind of cheap. This one wants to tighten up though. Comes with this plastic sheet in the crotch area, I guess, to keep from rubbing the metallic blue onto the yellow or vice versa. I don't know. It's easier to pop the leg off though. Pull that out. Because we see this in figure arts. We see this with Mafex. And if you go tearing at it and stuff, you're just going to end up with little plastic flakes inside. It's easier just to... <laughs> that's an odd thing to say. It's easier to disassemble your figure to pull a little plastic piece out. But it is. Oh, getting it out of the package? It's, uh, okay. Let's just say Metacom's good about giving different people different QC issues, I guess? We'll definitely get into that here in a second. But proportion-wise, this is definitely Wolverine. In fact, I'm about to go out on a limb and say this is probably my new favorite Wolverine. He's muscled up, he's bulky, he's buff, but he's still a little bit squat. You can see in places that it's kind of compact, like Wolverine should be. The sculpt is definitely nice and tight. It, it's, it just brings across that comic art. And when you think of Wolverine, you think of animalistic, you think of hunched over a little bit, and they've replicated that really well. With this super overly muscled back that it seems like almost too much muscle, but at the same time, that's a Wolverine. Same with the legs, you have all the muscles running down to the knee and through the boot, but where it needs to be smooth and a little less detailed, they've done a good job of that too. The belt always stood out to me as being very simple and very smooth, especially against the heavy detail of Wolverine. There you go, in 3D form. The blue is a little bit more metallic than I was hoping it would be, but after Spider-Man, we kind of knew what the deal was. We knew what we were going to get. But it's a nice contrast against the matte black and then the yellow. But there is a darker yellow to bring out the musculature. It's very faint and it's probably hard to pick up here in the camera, but in person you can definitely see it. I'm thinking the tiger stripes on the torso should probably be black. I seem to remember it like that, but at the same time, it ties into the shoulder pads, the gloves, the boots. But if you want to repaint it, it would be pretty easy because the lines for that is sculpted into the torso. The arm hair is exactly what you think of when you think of Wolverine in the comics, but because of how well done that is, I would have liked to have seen some stubble on the face. I don't know if it's animated or comic book or something, but again, that's unmistakably Logan. Those are his eyes. Even though they're white against a black field, it's still recognizable. Here's where it kind of skews away from my own personal preference. I like these ear wings or mask wings or whatever you want to call them to be a little bit more subdued. But at the same time, in the comics, they actually got this crazy, especially in the video games. So it again, it comes down to your personal preference. As good as the figure is overall, that doesn't bug me as much as I thought it would. Plus it helps play off the overall look of making his body look smaller and that the runt he is, you know? But let's get straight to the issues and work through those. These arms are easy to pull off. They don't just fall out on their own, but if you get too crazy with it, it's going to come apart. And the bicep is actually a sleeve over that, which I've seen before. In the Figma Avengers Hulk, I've seen it in other places, but this is the first thing that my mind went to when I saw that. Where the upper leg is a sleeve piece, it goes over the peg. Same thing, if you get too crazy, it starts to work away and it comes off. You... 
like so. So it's something you constantly have to, oh my God. And I've messed with this quite a bit. I've pulled it off, I've put it on. I felt a little pop at times, but then sometimes it goes up in there and just slides back out. Like it doesn't want to connect. And that's because the shoulder piece is also separate. On one hand, I kind of feel like Medicom was at a comfortable place. They were giving us quality product that was super articulated, looked fantastic on the shelf. So them going experimenting with this kind of thing, <laughs> I don't like it. It, it just kind of throws me off. But at the same time, if it makes it easier to manufacture or something, and this is a work in progress, then I can't fault them, I guess. Plus look at all the assembly to the shoulder. There's the butterfly that's a cup inside there, then a ball inside that. So I don't know if this was necessary in order to get all the range of movement they wanted. I mean, that just slides back on, but that presents a problem of you're plugging into this hole right here. So if you don't get this all the way on, or if you pull the arm off and this slides down a little bit, you will have a problem getting it plugged in. So you have to make sure the shoulder is all the way on. And then you wanna make sure this actually plugs in. There is a pop to it. See, I'm, it, it doesn't come off unless you actually physically pull it and you heard the pop. Because another problem presented in this setup is you go too far with the elbow and it works against itself and it pulls the peg down through the bicep, especially if you push it too far. Once I understood the mechanics going on here, I know what to look for whenever I'm posing. So whenever I go to move the arm or bring it around, I'm pushing kind of towards the body because I, I have to already taken pictures of this. I've messed around with it for far too long before I actually started shooting. I wanted to make sure that it wasn't just going to fall off in my hands and then I'm sitting here cussing at it. I do have a little bit of looseness to the legs or smoothness, I guess I should say, but it doesn't flop. So as long as it doesn't flop, I'm usually pretty good with it. The mid torso articulation is squeaky tight though. Oh, there you go. There's the inner workings. For articulation, there is a bent dumbbell joint up at the top. So if you have some funky movement, pull the head off, straighten out your peg up there. But then there's a ball joint at the bottom of the neck too. Altogether, that means you get amazing up, excellent down. Are you ready for this? My favorite. There is so much tilt to it. Mm -mm 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 -mm. Swivel. When I had it all apart, you could see that there's a butterfly cup in there. It moves forward, it moves back, it moves up, it moves down. <laughs> see what happens when you pull too hard. And then outside of that is a ball joint going out to the shoulder that is also a hinge. And then the shoulder pad is a ball joint in the back there. So you can bring that out up to cover up articulation, angle it back a little bit if you want to get some more room. The arm hinges up to there, rotates around inside the cup. Bicep swivel, <laughs> we've already been all through that. Double elbow comes, <laughs> that's about as much up as you're going to get with that much muscle. Swivel hinge swivel at the wrist, so you can go side to side, but if you turn it and rotate that around, you can go up and down. Ball joint mid torso, but again, there's some crunch. I can get it to move, but ooh, it's tough. But then there's a ball joint at the waist too, so that's where I'm getting a lot of my movement. Back, tilt, drop down ball at the hip, so whoop, you can bring it down, you can come up, back, out. The crotch piece is a little bit rubbery, so it does have some give. And then there's a swivel assembly up in there, so you get rotation. Double knee, not quite, but it has that awesome knee sculpt that doesn't break whenever you bring the knee all the way up. Rotation at the boot, which is very stuck out of the package. Same setup at the ankle as there is at the wrist, so you get rotation there. Crashes when you hinge back, actually gets more forward. Forward facing pin for rocker, and then a toe joint that goes all the way. For accessories, he comes with two fists. He comes with two kind of open, uh, multi-purpose hands. And then he has two clawed hands, of course. And like most Mafex, the hands are held on with friction. There's not really a mushroom peg, so it comes off pretty easy, especially on the fists that were on it in the package. And then the extra hands just slide right on. And you will notice that the claws are super long. Realistically, the claws would be the length of his forearm because... Whoosh, that they go in there. So, I mean, these would shoot out the back of his elbow, but like the mask wings we're talking about back in the nineties where they exaggerated a lot of stuff to make it cool. So thinking of it like that, I am completely good with these. A little bit crooked on the middle one. I may have to heat that up, but they are damn straight for coming out of the package like that. And then besides his calm, but still angry head, you can pop that off. The other head pops right on, not a problem at all. And you get his gritting teeth angry head. And I like this. I'm not usually into the teeth gritting heads. I usually display stuff calm, but this it's Wolverine. Yeah, he's going to be angry. And then it comes with an unmasked head. And to use in conjunction with that is a down cowl for around the neck. The cowl is very shaped to the torso, so you have to kind of move the neck around 
get it into a position so it lays right. But once you get it in the right spot, oh man, that looks fantastic. And it would look even more fantastic with this unmasked head, which I can put there, but it doesn't pop on because what in the hell is that? There's no peg hole that fits this peg. And at first I thought, oh, did I pick up my, uh, an extra Marvel Legends head or something? But no, that's the way it came out of the package. In fact, here is the Marvel Legends Wolverine. Pop that off. <laughs> it is a very tight fit, but I can get it to go on there. And it actually does not look bad. Surely Medicom didn't go, hey, we made you an extra head for your Marvel Legends figure. You know, that Wolverine figure from another company? Yeah, blowing my mind, I don't know. Heightwise Wolverine stands at five and three quarter inches to the top of his head and then six and a quarter up to the top of the wing thingies. Get it out of the way, is a little bit tall for comic book height. But we've already established that the Mafex Marvel Comics line is a little bit bigger than usual because he's appropriately short against the Mafex Marvel Comics Spider-Man and Deadpool. In fact, I love this. But if you're in the market to put it with your Marvel Legends figures, here it is against the well, a couple of Marvel Legends Wolverines. I believe this is the single carded Legends and then this is the Love Triangle set. Stock Claws, Custom Can of Beams Claws, Mafex Claws. Mafex is a little bit taller, but I think that height is in the torso. The belts all line up and then the shoulders don't, but still fairly short, especially since Legends isn't a true six inch scale. Here's the Love Triangle Jean Grey and Cyclops. I <laughs> That works. Because honestly, I think all the Marvel Legends Cyclops should be taller. The Marvel Legends Raft Spider-Man and Modern Deadpool. The Marvel Legends Elektra and Daredevil. And then the Figma Hulk and the Marvel Legends Colossus. Just for giggles. And if you feel he was still a little too tall for your display, I, there are some ways to fake it, like spreading the legs. I had the neck fully extended so you can drop it down a little bit, get him a little bit more angry. Crunch him down a little bit, get him more dancing posed. So at the end of the day, <laughs> I am not a Metacom apologist. I'll stick to my guns and say this is my shelf Wolverine now. Yes, the experimentation is weird. Medicom had a good thing going. They used to be known as the company where it just fell apart in your hands or you couldn't move stuff, stuck joints, but they got out of that. Every release is late and I always thought, well, they're still tweaking, they're fixing, they're getting us better product. And then they do this and stray away from the beaten path. And it's cool, but at the same time, if it ain't broke, don't fix it. But for all I know, maybe there was a reason to go this way. I, I don't, couldn't tell you. I don't work for Metacom. I just know that when I first pulled the arms off, I thought, what in the hell is going on here? But the more I messed with it, the more I figured out what was going on, I, I, my brain adapted. I don't know what this is all about, though. That's... <laughs> It's pure wackiness. That's weird. I'm not justifying it, but I wouldn't have used this head on that body. I, I'm growing to like the big ass mask wings more and more. So this fitting a Marvel Legends figure kind of works in my favor, <laughs> but I, I, I don't know. It's definitely a QC issue. This head should fit that body, but I can't be mad about it. No, I'm not grabbing about that. I thought I was walking into a QC landmine and it, it wasn't near as bad as I thought it was because I've seen other people talking online too. Their legs were floppy, the torso's too tight, which mine does have, but I can work around it. I heard all kinds of stories, so I've been putting it off, but I am pleasantly surprised by this. Of course, for a $100 action figure, it shouldn't have any problems, but... Do we want to open that can of worms? Yeah, because it's a $100 action figure. Still though, my experience with my copy, and it, it worked out in my favor, let's just say that. So if you enjoyed the review, comment, like, subscribe, or whatever the platform you're watching this on allows. Much, much, much love to the plus. But wherever you may be watching this, I'll always catch you on the foosh.